Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com with another Mac Pro upgrade video. The last time I've done a Mac Pro upgrade was... I actually think it was a hard drive. I'm not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure it was a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is still in there and it's working great. I believe it was a Seagate. But this time we're going even bigger. We are going with a Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive, nicely sponsored by DavidBanther.com, so check out David, his link is below. I have never owned a hard drive this large, so I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous because if you lose two terabytes of data, that's a crap load of storage. Um, because you know me, I do a lot of uh, you know different work. I do graphic design work, video editing, web design work, um, basically anything you can imagine. Well, that's not true. I don't really do audio production, although I do a little bit of podcasting. Uh, but anyway, that point aside, I'm very excited about this because this is something I actually really need. Um, because currently I'm using a 250 gigabyte hard drive as my standard, my primary. Actually, I wrote them down here. Um, and I have two 320s and one 500. Right now, here we go. I have a little sheet right here. Yes, don't laugh at the Pokemon. It's just free at Nintendo World. Primary hard drive is, is still staying in there uh, because that's what OS X is installed on. But that will be replaced when OS X Line comes out in the summer. Then we also have Backup. That's the one coming out, hence the X. Media, that's for videos and my iTunes collection, which is staying there until I get a bigger hard drive. And then finally, video projects is exactly what it sounds like. All of my iMovie videos, uh, client projects, and all that stuff. The only confusing part about this is I'm not sure which one I have to remove because I have two 320s. So it's going to be a 50-50 chance. But if I do pull out the wrong one, it's not a huge deal. I literally just slap it back in, boot up the Mac Pro, and see if I'm right. Because, well, it is very much that easy to install hard drives in a Mac Pro. But that is not all. I'm also installing, as you can, I'm sure you can tell from the title above, a USB 2.0 PS, P, yeah, PSI, pounds per square inch, is that what that is? PCI Express card. Now, you may be wondering, David, why didn't you go with the USB 3.0? Basically, focus, basically because, well, it's not the industry standard yet, and while well, prices are a little expensive, so that's basically my reason for going USB 2.0. Um, and plus, I want to get rid of my hub. You guys know me, I'm all about clean workspaces, so this will finally give me an excuse to put my hub in the closet for a kind of like a backup solution. And with all that said, let's finally open up the Mac Pro. Here is the beast itself. I have tons of accessories on this thing, so it took a little while to take everything out. But here it is, the Mac Pro. You guys have seen it many times. Beautiful machine, very easy to access. You just open the back latch here, the door comes right off. Look at that, it really could not be simpler. So let's put this aside over here. And swinging this around, I was actually just in here the other day um, to dust, you know, some things out. But of course, it is still dusty ready because these fans are obviously always moving. And up here we have all the hard drive bays. Just to show you guys for reference, here is hard drive one. This is obviously my primary Seagate that came with it. There it is. Let's put that right back in. Both of these should be 320. One of these will be coming out permanently. I'm just not sure which because. I didn't really label it, obviously, on the inside, but there's one 320, as mentioned. Let's put that aside. And here's the other 320. Same exact brand. I got those two for Christmas last year. If you guys are interested, just search Christmas 2009. And then this one. There you go. little force there. And this one is my newest one. Samsung, I'm sorry. I think I said Seagate before. This is actually a Samsung drive. I don't really buy Samsung drives, but the price was too good to pass up, and this thing has been perfect. Knock on wood. I don't usually believe in that stuff, but there you go. Anyway, let's put that back in. There's really no need to take it out. I just want to show you guys. So one of these is the one I'm taking out permanently. Now let's guess. Okay, guys, guess in the comments, left or right. And here is the Western Digital 2 terabyte drive. It says it's the green version. Um, it's environmentally friendly. I really don't know how, uh, but I guess I'll research that. And if I do find a link, I'll put it in the video description. Because you know me, guys, I always like to go green when possible. But here it is. I gotta say, it's actually really heavy uh, for a hard drive anyway. But very nice. Now let's mount this thing on the brackets. All right, so here's the old hard drive. I'm just taking the screws out real quick. This is a very simple process. My dog could probably do this, it's so easy. Not really, but close. Two more to go. Then once this bracket's off, we just mount it onto the new hard drive and put it in the Mac Pro, and then we're done. 
Then we can move on to the USB 2.0 card. Okay, the old hard drive is packed away for backup reasons in case I ever do need it. This does work perfectly fine, which is nice. So bringing the new hard drive over, it's got a nice green color to it, which I like a lot. So let's mount this one. The new hard drive is mounted and ready to be inserted. Here we go, put in the slot. There it goes. And we are done. That portion anyway. Next up is the USB 2.0 card. And there it is. Really nothing fancy, just four USB 2.0 slots. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also an internal slot if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, so this is always the fun part. And by fun, I'm being sarcastic because it's always a pain getting these brackets back in place, but there's the one, here's the USB card, and it should be as easy as just slipping it in and going on with your business. I know, I know. Say it for me. I don't even need to say it anymore. It's getting kind of old. So that's, there we go. Of course, I always have problems lining up this bracket. There we go. That feels nice and snug. It was actually incredibly simple. Now this is the part I'm talking about, getting this bracket back on, because for some reason, it will not stay in place anymore. Actually, oh, see? Of course it stays in place the first time, but as soon as I touch it again, all right, there we go. Now don't touch it, anybody. Let's just do this very carefully. There we go. There's one. And there is two. Actually wasn't that bad. Figures when the camera's rolling, things go easier. It's usually quite the opposite. And turning this around, without it falling off my desk and putting a hole in the floor, you will see right here, those are the four new ports. And as you can see, this one I cannot use since my video card is um, taking up that slot in a way. But I still do have access to these two, so if I wanted to add even more ports, I could. That actually kind of bothers me how that port is further away from these because I'm a big, I'm a big um, space and alignment freak. But hey, it's gonna work, and that's all I care about. Now taking the door, put this back on. Incredibly easy. Seriously, it does not get any easier than that. All right, everything's back together and everything's booted up, and we are good. Right now, we have to initialize the new drive. So we go into Disk Utility right here, and then we click Erase. My go Send Extended. Let's just name this Two Terabyte Monster. I'm obviously not going to keep that name for joking reasons. We do not need to zero out the data. This is a brand new drive. Erase, Confirm, Erase, and now the drive is officially initialized for OS 10 Snow Lover to read correctly. And there is proof. We have Main Two Terabyte Monster. Backup, which was the one I should have taken out, knowing my luck, of course, 50-50 chance, so I'm going to have to open it up again, swap the drives, but that's really not a problem, it takes a minute. Video projects, Panther Media, that's my external hard drive for video projects, and so on and so forth. And that is that, guys. As you can see, installing a hard drive and or USB 2.0 card is incredibly simple. It seriously could not be easier than that. And of course, knowing my luck, I installed the wrong drive in terms of my old drive, so I'm going to take a minute to swap out those drives off uh, video camera. You guys don't need to see that. It's boring. Uh, but as you can see, guys, very simple. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding my installation video or anything else for that matter, anything about me, my videos, my graphic design work, anything in general, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash David DeFranco or even add me on Facebook at facebook.com slash David DeFranco. And as always, check out techsocial.com. And again, very special thanks to davidbanthler.com for sponsoring this hard drive for me. Well, this is the old hard drive now. Actually, this one has to go back in. So I'm going to go do that real quick, guys. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy your Thanksgiving.